Let's cut a subject out of photos or videos in your iPhone. Now, a cool feature is that you can lift any kind of subjects, people, dogs, animals, anything like that from the background and you can use those, you can paste them into your messages, notes, you can do a bunch of different things. This is all available in iOS 16. So the first thing, of course, is you need to make sure that you've upgraded to the latest iOS 16. Once you've done that, let's hop into photos and I'm gonna show you some examples here. So let's go to this photo and to be able to cut out the subject, you're gonna tap and hold on them. So basically you can see that it makes a little line around them and it will be able to cut out. Basically you can take your finger and move it around. You can do a bunch of different things on here and it gives you the ability to copy it or share it if you want. So the key thing is on the subject, you're gonna tap and hold on it. Now, once you've done that, you can basically just open up anything. Let's open up messages, and I'm just gonna open up a message with myself. I think I have one there. And I can just hit paste here. So I can paste that cutout image of whoever it may be, a subject, an animal. The nice thing is that this can recognize a bunch of different animals in addition to people as well. You can always put this in different things. You can paste it on top of other photos as well. It's a really cool feature that you can basically share just to cut out the outline of a specific person or animal. So I'll show you again. Let's go to a different uh, photo. Let's go to one of these photos. So I, again, I can just tap on them and it will bring up the ability to copy or share it at the top. You can see it kind of outlines the features there. Let's hit that share button and I'm gonna hit text message. And now you can see it will just cut out the people here and then I can text this specifically to whoever I want. I can add that to Instagram, TikTok, I can overlay it on videos, on photos, a bunch of different really cool techniques to be able to customize any of these photos that you've taken. Hope this helps. If you have any questions on that, leave them in the comments down below and I'll catch you on the next one.